Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and today we are bringing you our first ever unboxing video. I really wanted to do an unboxing video, and we've got such a giant pile right over there. You can see all the stuff over there uh, lined up, ready to go. We're gonna have a ton of reviews to do in quarter four this year because all the manufacturers are like, it's time. So we're gonna get started, and we're gonna start today with the X-Tool D1 Pro. I'm gonna show you guys everything that came, everything that's in the box. We're gonna go whole nine for it. Don't go anywhere because we're getting started right now. So here it is, guys, the X-Tool D1 Pro still in the box i literally have not touched anything i didn't peek at it in advance so this is going to be a legit unboxing uh they sent me two boxes of these cylindrical spacer tools i don't know what those are for but we're going to find out and then we have the actual unit here the x tool d1 pro there it is the box is gigantic and uh fairly heavy they they give you handles to put on the side there so that you can like push it in and carry it but the there's no room in the box to actually get your hands in, which is kind of stupid. But um, so anyway, there's the D1 Pro. And then they also sent the RA2, which is uh, a rotary of some sort. And I have not done any research on this whatsoever. So uh, we'll take a look at this too. Instead of wasting more time, let's get to the unboxing. We've got the rotary attachment to Pro, the RA2. And uh, it's just a really simple box, but it's nice. It's nice enough. Uh, we got some tape on here. So first up, we have a nice little manual here. It's actually uh, feels nice. It's high quality. Uh, the pictures look good. Let's see how the writing is. Not the best. Not the most descriptive, but it looks pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and and it's a nice print, so that's cool. Let's get this foam out of here. And you guys can see this is actually packaged really nicely. So it looks like we've got some screws and little bits and pieces of things that I'm sure we're gonna need for assembly. Before we tackle the rest of this box, let's take a look in this accessories kit. So let's open this up. And we've got all kinds of little stuff in here. Uh, it looks like teeth for a chuck rotary, which is pretty cool. I didn't realize that this had that capability. Uh, so that's pretty neat. And we've got some measuring tape, oddly enough. Some kind of gear shaft and a chuck wrench. And if we look underneath, uh, we've got another kind of mount here. And uh, look at that, it's a, it's a chuck rotary, uh, which is actually pretty crazy. They included a chuck rotary in this thing. So I don't know how this is all gonna go together, but um, that's, that's pretty awesome. We've got some belts in here too down at the bottom. I'm sure we'll need those at some point. Let's go ahead and pop this back in the box for now. And we'll set that aside. Went ahead and changed my lighting up a little bit here. It's my first time doing this, so uh, I, I wasn't really sure how the lighting was gonna go. We've moved desks around and everything, so uh, hopefully that's a little bit better. So let's take a look in here. So this looks like the main unit here, the main roller rotary. And uh, if I can get it out, let's see, do we have to pull this out first? We do have some uh, connectors here. We also have a couple screwdrivers with hex ends, so that's interesting. Uh, this is gonna be quite the build project. This might have to be a separate video. Under that now, it looks like we can get to the main unit. Uh, so here it is, really nice, uh, thick, solid aluminum. Um, pretty cool, it's got these rubber feet on the bottom that are actually really pretty tacky. I mean, you can see it kind of like pull my sweatshirt away there. Um, pretty nice. Uh, the, the rollers as well, I mean, it is a roller at the end of the day, right? It's not that exciting, but it's more or less, you know, it seems put together. So I think a lot of these attachments and additions are for the, uh, the actual chuck rotary, but we're gonna have to experiment with it and find out because I actually haven't used this yet. So um, I'm not sure. It looks like we have a little access port down here if we need it and we have access to the drive shaft if we need it and we may uh, but that seems to be about it it's it's fairly kind of all in one there's just kind of one big piece here 
uh, which is pretty cool. And just looking at some of the leftover stuff. So we have a little tower here that rises and lowers. I'm sure that that will be useful at some point. Again, really solid construction and it's got the same rubber feet on the bottom and last but not least uh, a little bubble level so uh, there we go we've got that and i believe that's the end of the box so that's everything guys i'm gonna get this packed up really quick and then we're gonna move on to the x tool d1 pro so let me throw this back together and i'll be right back Hey guys, it's Alex from the future. And I forgot to mention during this episode that we have brand new merch on the store. We got t-shirts, we got hoodies, we got hats, we got all kinds of other stuff and uh, some really cool designs. I've been having a blast putting them together. So if you wanna check out some Laser Everything merch, wanna rep the channel, you can go check it out over at lasereverything.net slash merch. All right, back to the unboxing. And uh, I think we're gonna have to zoom out for this one, guys. This thing is not small. Uh, it's, you know, it's it's definitely got some size to it. And uh, let's get this unpackaged. I'm, you know, excited now, uh, seeing how well the rotary attachment was packaged. I'm expecting good things from this. So uh, let's see what's inside this box. Okay, I've moved things around a little bit. Let's see if we can get it to open and stay that way. All right, we're in business. There we go. So uh, here is the box. Uh, it's brand new. I haven't opened this ever, uh, which is extra exciting. So it looks like there's just a lot of paperwork right off the bat. Let's go ahead and open these boxes up. Everything is printed really nice. They, they really spent uh, a lot of money on their packaging, which is not surprising because, you know, X tool and marketing, right? So uh, no one is surprised about that. Let's check this out. So a uh, smart cutting machine. Let's see, uh, just looks like a support card. Well, thank you. D1 Pro. Looks like an assembly manual. Is that all in Chinese? It is. <laughs> uh, every, every bit of this is in Chinese. I think that's what this black one's for. So if we look in this, uh, yeah, we've got some more stuff going on in uh, some other languages. So, um, interesting we'll have to pour through those a little bit but they're printed very nice they look very nice and last but not least uh, magical things made by x tool and this looks like just kind of like a promo book uh, on different things that the laser itself has made uh, which again is nice uh, it's kind of nice to to look through so i'll look at this a little closer later but uh oh look a material guide pretty neat uh, so lots of stuff in there you guys can check that stuff out if you end up picking it up. And this one, sample materials. Uh, we got a big old, big old sheet of anodized aluminum. A couple other things. Um, I guess we can go ahead and open this up. Okay, so uh, definitely a piece of wood here. Looks like press or particle board with a veneer on it. Interesting. Uh, we've got our legit cork here, so that's pretty cool. Feels really nice. Uh, I love cork. Cork's one of my favorite materials. Not to engrave, just in general even more plastic. So uh, anodized aluminum business cards, pretty standard, not surprising. Uh, I think this might actually be glass, which is pretty crazy. Um, I'll, I'll, again, I'll have to look through the packing list, but um, that definitely sounds like glass to me, uh, which is really interesting. So uh, potentially some glass. I don't know what this is. That is that like an ink, a stamp ink pad? Do they just kind of set you up to make stamps? Uh, cause that's, that's pretty wild. And uh, a wooden block there. Yep. I'm pretty sure that was a stamp making kit. Cause this is just a big old sheet of rubber and some kind of weird piece of paper. I'm not really sure what to do with that, but we, we explored, we looked, that was more than I wanted to do anyway. So we'll just set this stuff aside for now. And let's take a look at the real deal. We'll go ahead and get this off. And here, this is where you can really start to see uh, that, that pro grade stuff, right? Um, these aluminum bars are pretty legit. So that looks like our motherboard in there with uh, our switch, nice and clicky. And uh, some feet, I believe, some rubberized feet. So this should sit up like that. This actually all looks fairly easy to put together. And here's another end. We've got one of our stepper motors. Belts are on, so that should make setup a little less 
uh, daunting once we're ready to do that. The belt's already on this one as well, but this one is really loose. So uh, we may have to end up tightening this up as part of the instructions. And I found our cables. <laughs> so there's all the cables right there and the second stepper motor. And we've got our roller. So this is one of our moving gantries here, uh, which is zip tied in place at the moment, but we will definitely be taking some time to explore that a little further as well. We do have a secret compartment under here. I found that by accident, and that appears to just be hiding a power cable. Here's the final wall section. Looks like we have a drive shaft in there, uh, which is tucked neatly into some foam, and uh, the final wall right there. So um, that is everything for the main body. Now we can check out the stuff over here on our right. We've got the diode module down here, but I want to save the best for last. So let's see what's inside this box first. Great, more super loud, crinkly plastic. Just what I need right now. Was it really necessary to uh, generate more ocean plastic for this? We couldn't just put this in the box. More plastic. I hate wasteful use of plastic, guys. The glasses could have been wrapped like this in the case in the box. All cardboard, no need for any of that. The foam I understand, right? We're trying to protect our laser. So we've got our microfiber cloth and our goggles. Uh, no safety rating on them uh, or anything. It is a visible light laser, so, you know, it's pretty simple to block that from your vision, but, um, you know, check out the KTIs on NoIR if you haven't already. I'm sure these will do the trick temporarily, but I would not want to rely on these long term. Also included in that box, looks like we have a little X tool toolkit with a bunch of stuff. Uh, we got like a weight in here, screwdriver set, bunch of screws, uh, even a little micro SD card, four gigabyte micro SD card in there. Uh, we've got looks like an air assist joint uh, for air assist hosing. And a couple other little odds and ends. So uh, it's, it looks like it's got everything you need to, to at least get the thing put together and running. Uh, again, I'm sure we'll be reapproaching this when it's time for assembly. And last but not least, it looks like they give you some zip ties for cable management. So we'll have those if we need those as well. All right, last but not least, guys, we've got our diode module. Definitely felt well protected. That was pretty hard to get out. The electronics bag is actually a Ziploc, which is nice. So we can reuse that uh, for storage, which is pretty cool. And here it is, guys. This is the 10 watt X-Tool diode module, uh, which is really, really awesome. So it looks like we've just got a connection back there. We've got active cooling going on up here, guys. So that's a fan. That's a real deal fan right there. Uh, a little warning sticker. Do not leave machine unattended when it is working. Flip it around to the other side. Looks like we got some quick specs here. Uh, wavelength 455, plus or minus five nanometers. So it's a blue light laser, pretty standard. Uh, Focus beam light path, one point amps, 24 volts, and uh, 10 watts right there. So um, really straightforward, guys. Really straightforward, 10 watts. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to see what this thing can do. I am not sold on combined diodes. Uh, I'm, I'm not sold on combined diodes. So I'd like to really put this to the test and see how much better it is than let's say the Orter 5.5 watt uh, short focus module. It is heavy, it's, it's quite a bit bigger than the 2-4. I really am interested to see what this thing is uh, capable of doing here. You can look actually down into the diode module there. We've got some some interesting stuff going on in there, guys. This is uh, this is not a simple module. There's there's some complex stuff happening inside of this thing to uh, to make it function. So uh, really am interested in giving this a try. I'm expecting we'll be able to use higher speeds with something like this than we're normally able to do on like the Orter Laser Master 2, right? Because we do have the 10 watt module here, which means we can lay more power down faster which means we can move faster so there it is that's the uh the x tool 10 watt module right there built-in shield and everything and it's uh it's looking pretty nice you do see here we have a cutout in the shield for attaching what i'm assuming is our air assist uh so that it's coming out the nozzle there so we'll definitely take a closer look at that during assembly as well and that's it guys i hope you enjoyed laser everything's first attempt at an unboxing video i think it went pretty well you can see i've got the setup over here with the lights and uh the, the overhead 
I just got a couple things off Amazon to try to improve the shooting process and make it a little better, make it a little more interactive. So hopefully that stuff arrives soon because we have that, again, giant pile back there uh, just filled with stuff that we need to get open and get reviewed. Uh, it's just it's just mounting. It's, it's climbing uh, very quickly. So leave a comment down below, though, and let me know what you guys thought of the first unboxing video. I'll be reading them while I'm getting this thing put together. And then we're going to start testing it, putting it through its paces. You guys know that I do crazy in-depth reviews, so we're going to tear this thing apart and look at every little piece of it and make sure that it's up to snuff before recommending it to anyone. So I'm gonna start doing that. You guys drop me a comment. Let me know if you like this unboxing. If you did, I've got plenty more I can do for you, so we can definitely start that right away. If you guys got value out of this one, don't forget to smash the like button. Let everybody else know the content is good. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time we do an unboxing. If you love the channel and you wanna support it, don't forget to check out the Laser Master Academy. It's the number one way to support the channel. And everybody over there is super kind, super helpful, uh, just amazing folks over there. And everything that we do here on the channel is because of their dedicated support. So if you wanna learn more, you can find out over at Masters dot laser everything dot net links to the x tool d1 pro down in the description if you cannot wait for the full review i'm sure it's going to be a premium machine but we're really excited to start using it here that's all i've got for now lots to do guys as always but i will see you in the next one